Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're all doing marvellously well. In the last episode, we got the buffer beams and the mainframes together. I didn't realise how long it would actually take me to uh, tweak the frames and the buffer beams so that everything was square and parallel and the right distance apart. It took me quite a while. We finally managed it as you saw in the video. So today we're going to carry on bolting bits on. So first things first, I'm just going to run through these holes and just clear out any of the paint because I was struggling with the uh, buffer beam angles where the paint had filled these holes too much. So I'll just run through with the drill and then we'll, we'll start putting it together. Right, so for now, we're just going to put the nuts and bolts in. These are M8s on this piece. And then I'm going to make a little tool so when we tighten it up we can set it because it needs to be the angle needs to sit lower on the frame than the top so that when we do the plate work all along the sides it's sat the right height down so when we do the plates it sits flush to the level of the uh, main frames and the buffer beams Here. Right, you can see here that I've left this bolt out because the angle it goes on the other side when I set all my holes it landed straight on it so we'll put that ang these angles on first so we can drill a hole through uh, before we put that bolt in Right, so I've made my jig. So what I've done is I've got a piece of six mil flat bar, and then on the other side, I've tapped a piece of plate, two mil thick, cause my running boards are gonna be two mil. Uh, I've tacked it on. Unfortunately, I didn't have any two mil, I only had 2.5, so I've just quickly machined it off down to two mil. So this end is eight mil, and this end is six mil. Because there's a bit of play in the angle. So all we do, making sure that's down, is we put the two mil plate on this side and this will sit on top of the main frame. And then using a C clamp, it'll pull it up to the, it'll set that distance to two mil. And then we just nip that bolt up and move along, do each bolt. And then that plate, that angle should then be set for two mil so the running board can sit straight on top. So I'll run down this now and get this done. And then we'll do the other side. And we're just moving along. Make sure she's down on the on the main frame at this side as well. And as long as it's down there and it's down across there, we're good to tighten up.
Now hopefully you can see this. It's coming hopefully it's coming through on the camera. That angle and that plate are perfectly straight. I don't know if on the camera it's coming through curved. It's definitely not in in the reel. It is straight. <laughs> We've got the two main angles that run down the side on. Yes, we may have to cut some notches out for where the cylinders are, the reverser and the handbrake, but they're on. I'm pleased that putting these angles on has got rid of any of the very small curves that were left from when we straightened the frames. It wasn't a, it wasn't a big amount that they were curving, but it seems to have got rid of the rest of it completely. We're not far off from flipping the frames over for the work that we need to carry on underneath, like the footwell, fitting the wheels, doing the pony truck, the brake rodding. We've got all that to come. So if you like what you've seen in the video, please click the like button and that will help spread it further. Join me next time for more work on the steam engine. Laters. A few bits missing.